Hey guys, uh, Ben here with a quick unboxing of the newest item from Dutch over at DutchWearGear.com. Uh, this is Dutch's Chameleon Hammock. Uh, I went for the early bird package on his Kickstarter and I got the whole um, the whole deal which was the whole winter deal which was um, this is a bug net, a top cover, um, his new beetle suspension system. Uh, I also added the peak shelf and the Ridgeline organizer. Um, Dutch had a really successful Kickstarter campaign. Uh, he, they met the, the goal very quickly and then went on to meet um, three stretch goals. So uh, really good outing for Dutch. I think he's done some interesting stuff here with this. Uh, I'm just gonna take it out of the package today. Right now it's uh, pretty cold out. We've been well, we've been at zero degrees Fahrenheit. Uh, it's starting to warm up. We're going to get a big storm tonight, maybe as much as a foot of snow. Um, if I mentioned this before, but I am not an outdoor camper, or not a winter camper at this point. Um, uh, I, I did have the, the pleasure of meeting Dutch uh, a year or two ago at uh, a, a group hang. Uh, this one was um, Maha or the Mid-Atlantic Hammock Hangers Association that takes place down in Pine Grove Furnace State Park uh, in Pennsylvania. And it was, a, it was a great time. I met a lot of great people. I haven't been able to make it back because it is a, it's a long drive for me up here in upstate New York. Um, and that's really the closest one that I'd be able to find. Uh, but I recommend if you if just, just go to hammockforums.net and there's a section there on trips and whatnot. Go to that section and you'll see group hangs. And I highly recommend a group hang to anybody. Uh, I'm not terribly a social guy, but I did I did all right. There was a lot of uh, cool people there. So if even if you're kind of a loner or whatnot, um, I think you'll have a good time. There's You're just mutually into the same kind of thing. And if you're having trouble, especially, uh, you know, getting your angles right when you're hanging your suspension or... You know, the, the under quilt can get tricky. Um, I mean, you can watch all the Shug's videos and whatnot, but it's still it's still good to have somebody um, help you out. And I, and uh, Rob from Backpacking Adventures, really, uh, he, he got my under quilt all dialed in and really showed me what to do and whatnot. So um, that was really helpful to me because I, str I struggle with um, the under quilt, especially when you're by yourself. It's very hard to get your under quilt just right the first time. Uh, once you get it kind of in the ballpark, if you don't change your system a whole lot, it, it's it's easier to dial in. But that initial setup is is pretty tough by yourself. And um, you know, he kind of got me. He, he showed me the hang angles and whatnot. Um, so in here is Dutch's beetle suspension. Um, it's different from his cinch bug uh, uh, suspension, so it's going to be interesting. I I struggle with suspensions. Um, the war bonnet one that came stock on my war bonnet uh, blackbird the webbing suspension supposedly that's very easy and I and I and I fight with it all the time uh, and then I tried Dutch's um, speed hooks and those were fairly easy but they were Dutch recalled them because they were um, they were really wearing the the uh, amp steel so we're waiting to see uh, what he does to come up with it supposedly there's speed hooks 2.0 um i haven't seen those yet and then i've tried the cinch bug and that's okay but I, i've twisted the webbing all around and then I had to fight to get the webbing back um in place um ha i have whoopee slings but i haven't really hung on whoopee slings yet um i don't think maybe in the backyard um so it'll be interesting for me to get this going so this so i call it i do an air quotes on the unboxing because obviously this is an envelope i am not going to try to cut in this as dutch says caution when opening with sharp objects you don't want to damage your goods so i'm going to try to get in here with my bare hands but i don't know how successful that's going to be because these envelopes are pretty tough all right i'm going So we have a component there, a component here, all kinds of good things coming out of here. There's the beetle buckle suspension. Oh, there's a 
And there's a chameleon sticker. Now normally when you order from Dutch Gear, and I haven't ordered in a while, I don't know if he stopped doing it. Dutch used to hand sign every invoice. So this one is not hand signed, so I'm not sure if it's different just because it's Kickstarter or if he's gotten so busy that uh, he can't do that anymore, which, you know, is totally understandable. Because he, he's, he's really doing a lot of great stuff, so. All right, this appears to be the hammock. In here I have... Some elastic cord. And two carabiners. Rated for 1,100 pounds each. Those are Dutchwear branded. I don't know if you can see that or not. Um, this, I'm guessing, is for the gear loft peak loft there's no instructions of any kind not sure what those are for in this little bag we have the Ridgeline Organizer, I'm guessing. Ooh, no, maybe not. Maybe this is the Peak Shelf. That's pretty big. So this is the Peak Shelf. And there's a video on this Dutch put out on how to install it, so I'm going to need to check that out because it involves taking the whipping off and um, so maybe those elastics go with that. This must be the original organizer. No shortage of plastic bags. Yeah, that's the Ridgeline organizer. Looks like it just um, snaps over the top of your Ridgeline. One-sided. Some some uh, organizers have have uh, a little smaller. Than I thought it was going to be um, organizers. Some organizers have pockets on both sides. Um, I have one from two Q Q Z Q that um, I haven't really used it a whole lot. I think it's smaller than I thought. Again, it's smaller. I really I think I want a real big one. That's which is why that peak loft will come in handy. Uh, so I'm guessing this is my top cover, which I don't know how much use I'll get out of it because I don't do a lot of winter camping. Maybe I will. No, no, this, what is this? This is the bug net. This is the bug net. So this has got this, I think he calls it a vision zipper. Um, when I set this thing up eventually, um, I'll go into the vision zipper and how it unzips and how you can it's the the, the deal with this hammock is that you can uh, lay it lay in it either way and and all you got to do is adjust your bug net or uh, top cover your top cover flips over and, and it zips in usually that you have to pick a lay direction when you order a hammock like when I did the war bonnet blackbird I had to pick one so I went with the standard, which is my head is to the left, my feet are to the right. If you, some people f find it easier to sleep the other way, head, head right, feet left, and you can't do that in the war bonnet. You're locked in, um, and you, if it's your first hammock, you don't really know. So it's kind of an expensive way to figure out that uh, that's not how you like to lay. With this one, you can lay either way. Once you figure it out, you can lay that way, or maybe you like to switch back and forth. So this is the bug net and it hooks on up top with these it's got a series of I don't know what these little hooks are that Dutch came up with here but uh, I guess those are just the zipper pulls interesting 
zipper pulls. Um, so there's that. I'm gonna have fun getting that back in that little bag, I think. This is uh, the top cover. And I went with the colors. These colors look really good to me. Um, Doogie, I don't know if you check, I'll put a link to his channel and, and I'll put a link to Rob's channel and Dutch. Um, Doogie made a quilt. No, I believe it was, I don't know if it was an underquilt or top quilt. And he used, I believe, these two colors the blue that I got the hammock in and this titanium gray that uh, I got the top cover in. And it was a really sharp looking quilt. I mean, I really, really, really liked it. So I went with these colors and my thinking is if you get a really loud top cover color, cover, color, well it's hard to say, um, and you don't happen to have a tarp on for whatever reason, if you're using your top cover it's probably winter and you know, maybe you don't put a tarp up, I don't know. Um, but when the sun comes through with some really odd color, uh, you're going to have, you know, if you got a blaring orange color, you're going to have a this bright orange light on your purple or something. I don't know. Just seems like a, I didn't want a real loud color. Um, so the gray would kind of give me that overcast, which I kind of like uh, to wake up to. Um, if the sun shines through it, through the tarp or whatever. Um, so that's why I went, another reason why I went with the gray, not some loud color. And blue is my favorite color. So I went with, I forget what the color, uh, the, the, the actual name of this blue color is, um, but you can see there. I'm not going to take this whole thing out right now, but uh, so it comes in your bishop sack. Two ends are sticking out here. I am just going to shove this back in here. There's room in this sack, from the looks of it, for. And the suspension, or the um, continuous loops on the end of the hammock, I think they're two different colors. Let me just double check. Help you figure out your head. Nope. Nope. Same color. Easy enough to switch out once I figure out how Dutch has got these ends whipped. I really, I don't like messing with this because once you take that whipping off, you're dealing with your, your, uh, ridge, your ridge line. You can see that on there, but the ridge line is right there, and you got to get that on there right, or else you're gonna monkey up the whole thing. But in order to put my loft bag thing in, I got to take this apart. Um, so I'm a little hesitant about that because I don't want to monkey it up. But I think I'll get through it. So you you got to tinker. That's that's part of him. Yeah. So there's there's quite a bit of room in there. I think I could probably. Oh, definitely. You could definitely get the uh, get everything back in there. Except your bag. Let's see if these bags the same size. Yeah, that's handy. So you know, to mix up your bags doesn't matter. Um, the best method for this is. I don't want to snag that zipper on anything. So I'm thinking if you stuff this in here. I'm anxious sure to get this out and set it up, but I'm not going out in this weather. So somebody will beat me to it. Uh, that's back in there. little mini core I love these little mini core locks they're so tiny but they do their they do the job and so he's got last shit or zinging I never know what to do what here but on, on the bags so shut my top cover I guess normally you wouldn't need to take both of these but let's just see if they can fit in here
Trying to keep the bag from banging the microphone. I have a real problem with that. Yeah, so there you go. You got shoe rack. You can get the. I can throw the carabiners in there. I don't have my peak loft in there or anything, but. I'll throw the carabiners in there. There's, there's still some room in there for compressibility. So I could definitely throw the, uh, I mean, these things aren't that big. They can stub these right in there. We got no problem. And those ropes, stretchy cords, uh, those, I don't see that being a problem either, so. string here. There we go, that's basically everything except the suspension on these things. <coughs> I don't take these apart now either, but <coughs> I, don't these are, I don't know if these are made out of these are tight. I don't know what the straps are made of. I don't know if these. Are, uh, you probably can't get a good look at those. But I'll do. A, I'll do when I set this up. I'll do a look, a close up look at these. Um, and I think what I'll do when I set these up is I'll just. I'm going out there for the first, like I do with a lot of stuff. I'm going to go out there with no previous uh, trials on this, and I'll just wing it, and you'll get to see how I struggle through it. That's kind of my goal with these things. I try to keep the editing to a minimum. I, I want if I make a mistake or whatever, um, I figure somebody else can learn from it. So that is the Dutchware Gear Chameleon Hammock and Associated Accessories. Um, it's a kind of a first look. And once the weather clears up a little bit, I'll get out there and do a, a full setup. So as always, thanks for watching and we'll see you again soon.